Hello! Welcome to the Advanced Controls tutorial for the Effexio app. This tutorial will show you how to use the more advanced controls in the app to increase how realistic your effect shots look in your videos and photos. You can also get pretty creative by playing with the shadow and effect shot color casts, fog, and different angles of view. I've opened sample video number 3 included in the app and loaded the Dino Attack effect shot. Let's look first at the ambient light controls. Ambient light is the overall lighting in your video. These controls let you match it by changing its color and brightness. To select a color, tap anywhere on the color matrix and move the selector to the color you want. For example, if you have a sunset in your video, you may want to change the color to a red-orange. To change the brightness, drag the slider. To select black, drag the slider fully to the left. To select white, drag the slider fully to the right. Note that you cannot select a color if the slider is all the way to the left or to the right. It must be somewhere in between. The light one controls allow you to move the shadows and change the color and brightness of the light source in your video, which can be, for example, a lamp, the sun, or the moon. You want to try to match the shadows cast by objects, animals, or people in your video and the color of the light source in your video to make the effect shot look more realistic. To move the shadows, use the light direction trackball. You also have access to this control in the quick controls. In these controls, you can also change the color and brightness of the light using the color matrix as we did before. The shadows controls allow you to match the sharpness and lightness of the shadows cast by an effect shot to the shadows in your video. You can change how sharp the shadows look to match how sharp your video is by dragging the slider labeled Blur. You can also change how light or dark the shadows are to match those in your video by dragging the slider labeled Lightness. You can also add a color cast to the shadows and change the brightness by using the color matrix. The blend controls allow you to change an effect shot's saturation and how sharp it looks. If objects in your video appear less sharp than the effect shot, you can change the effect shot's sharpness by dragging the slider labeled Blur. If you need to make the color of the effect shot more intense, you can change the saturation. Drag the slider labeled Saturation. You can also add a color cast and change the brightness of an effect shot by using the color matrix and slider. The camera controls allow you to change the angle of view of the virtual camera. If you want an effect shot to get bigger as it gets closer, then you should increase the angle of view. Let's try it. First, let's look at the animation with the default angle of view. Now, let's increase the angle of view and watch the animation again. To keep the effect shot in the distance, you can decrease the angle of view. If you tilted your camera while shooting your video, you can match it by dragging the slider labeled Camera Roll. This will add a tilt to the effect shot. The fog controls allow you to add fog to the effect shot. You may want to do this if there is fog in your video. You may also want to do this to give the illusion of distance or simply to get creative. Let's try it out. If you decide to add fog, you can change its color and brightness using the color matrix and slider. If you need help while you're using the app, you can open Help Overlays by tapping the question mark icon and choosing Help Overlays. Tapping anywhere in the screen will close them. You can also access an online user guide by tapping the question mark icon and choosing User Guide. 
I hope this tutorial has been useful and will encourage you to get creative with the advanced controls in the FXU app.